was like, I'll fix you for free, bro. Mm-mm. And he was like giving them like discounts and stuff. Keep forgetting how this is a perfect time because ain't um, nobody come through like that. Yeah, <clears throat> it's the podcast shit. That's what I was saying. I was just throwing the sound effect and everything. But no, so yeah, right. So like no real names and shit, whatever. But this talk shit you've been talking. So yeah, fudges. I never was that type of kid that had that type of opportunity of people pointing me to barber shops. I had a mama who told me she only she can do it. She used to poison me as a kid. That poison, but poison my mind. Man. That you know, she one time gave me some X lax and told me try this new candy. My mama did that. Oh, it was, it was sent me to school. Right? right before school. No, it was just on her. her that was just, it was just her on some. So watch this. Shit, you fuck that one. Yeah, I don't know where. Try this gum. That means you had to take a shit at school. I had the car hurt. I was locked in, in the locker room. I didn't want to leave the gym or ba- um, bathroom the locker rooms because I, I crapped myself. Because my mama tried to prank me right before school. This is the mother I had. I couldn't play Nintendo unless she played the game. And if I won, I was cheating. This is what I was raised with. So I had like a little tra- a traumatic childhood God, going on. Damn. So I never had my hair cut. I, I used to shave I, my hair bald I with a razor. I thought I had some, some problems, man. Yeah. I just grew up being a middle stepchild. That was just like a double whammy. You know, you can't get shit you want. And you got your ass with well, I got it. shit I want. Except I didn't know how to request a haircut. Because. Hello. Hey, all right. The haircut game was, you know, not for me. Oh no. That's the only like the thing I left up with was having a few times. A few times I would try to um the few times I would try to get my hair cut, I would always run into a bumper clock as barber that would just F me up for ten dollars. So I wouldn't trust them like lawyers. Yeah, you, you, yeah, know, you definitely so. had to find the right it's like finding your find the right barber is literally like It's part of adventure. It's it's like name a movie where you're finding that perfect match. Nemo. I was thinking that, but the train spotting. Oh uh, what? That's those. Um, James and the Giant Peach. Look at, look at Transformers. That which one? You know how they had to bring Optimus Prime back from the dead. Yeah. That's what finding a barber. Uh, you got to find that one that keeps you clean. I did like my auntie. I grew up around barbers. Like, my auntie owns a shop. Okay. My mom was a barber. So, it was just like, I never have to worry about being See, My rough. friend, her um, mama worked at a place, I don't know if you heard, called Wig Village on Dexter. Her grandma and her auntie worked there now. So, they kept a dude. They, she, and they, they felt offended. They seen chicks that body shit. In the 80s and 90s, they hated that shit. That shit they knew. They been hated that shit. They used to be like, that, that to them was like, that was the equivalent of how women who had kids out of wedlock in the 60s, how they would treat them. Fine. To them, that's how they felt about chicks who wore a scarf or a body on their head. That's how much they kept their hair done. They, everybody else kept their hair done. Yeah, because back, yeah, back in the day, you know, women were keeping that shit up. Right. This is know, I'm coming out of the bonnet and you got to like it. No, nah, bitch. Get your ass in the house and fix that. They would get at it so they would be looking to... Right. <laughs> Our friend... And me, I'll be like, irritated. It's like, y'all mad because motherfuckers looking at y'all funny coming out looking like you in your pajamas. Like, damn. Who starts that? Who starts that in scrubs? Like, Who started that? I'm wearing like scrubs this. and I don't work it. I went to Dev Rye or Everest for a yeah. couple of months and I just kept the uniform in the, in the book bag and I'm dragging this bitch around, but I ain't nowhere near a medical assistant. I ain't gonna lie though. If you want to be a real, you want to get like a real sex worker operation on. How the bitches dress up in scrubs and do home health care. Are they fucking like the movie? That should be the thing. I think that's been done. Yeah, I mean, but you can do it. I think that's been done. They got a, um, look, I said the COVID porn with like, they was wearing the mask and the shit, but this dick was hanging out and her pussy was hanging out. They fucking like, the quarantine. Yeah. I see even seen a COVID one when he had, they had the face mask shit, but her hair got stuck in the laundry machine and shit. I mean, that's normal. That's I'm, not normal. Who gets stuck in the laundry machine and I'm, get fouled no. by their stepson with their panties down? Like, who's, I, who started that trend? I don't know who the fuck Whose fantasy is that? Because I see tons of those movies. Who the fuck wants to get stuck in a dryer? That's why I'm like... Nah, I saw the one with the chicks got stuck under the bed. How? I mean... How? 
I don't know. How is this? Some of the storylines, like you see the one, you ever see these storylines when they have it, they, like, they sneak fucking, like they're on a date and their parents are sitting across the table for them and they're like giving the man a hand job, which is believable. But then like the next thing, like they turn the corner and like she looking around the wall and he like beats fucking her from the back and I'm like, so y'all ain't hearing this slapping. Like, love. Right. Or, or, like, or, the, or like the dad will go and sit down and watch TV and they like behind the couch fucking and he like so into the movie that he ain't hearing her behind him. First off. I ain't never been into a movie where. <laughs> I don't hear I don't know. <laughs> saw, this is the thing. These movies be doing that. Yeah. They be, this movie's good. Come here and try this popcorn. When you get back from the kitchen, like, and she, okay, off. dad. And she get a fucked up about a car. Okay, dad, I'll get some, but- get some more butter. And then be like, you I know. Don't- I, I wish the fuck someone would come into the movie living room after fucking and put their hand in the popcorn where I'm washing their ass. There's people. That's a fight. I saw a chick. I, 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 uh, this chick gave me the pussy. This chick I met from my job years ago. Safe to say decades. That's how old I am. And um, got the pussy. Went the roller blunt. And this bitch pulled out her big ass feet, crazy ass looking feet, and, and pulled out some lotion. I want a foot massage. Man. It was serious. I said, you don't see us smoking the blunt. And my, my brother was there now. We smoked with him. I said, you don't see us smoking. You want me to grab your feet? Oh, these chicks is out of work. With lotion and then pass the blunt to somebody? Like, you? And she used to go to the car. She used to put her foot up, like, kick them up in between the, in between the seats. You know, that little part, like, I want a foot. Like, she, in her hair, she thought her pussy was that bold that she was about to demand a foot massage. This was, like, the first time, too. And the last time, because I was, like, that, that day, I stopped. This is before we could block people. I just had to stop asking her phone. You know, back in those days, you could tell your grandma, tell her I don't exist. Your grandma, you know, your grandma, your mom was, was writing because I had a bitch. So you know, it was easy to, to, I don't talk to her no more. Don't call my house no more, bitch. You don't like you. Like my mama was that. I had that mama too. She was crazy. My mom was just the, she was too nice, but not too nice. It was like, she would say stuff like, hey, you know, tighten it up. Cause, you know, these chicks is calling here too frequently. I was like, I had a rotation, like a legit. I mean, that's what happened when your mama is a hairdresser and you got the baddest I, I don't even, cut. I don't even mess with like when, when, you know. I got the to, baddest cut in school and Highland Park. You know, all the two guys could afford haircuts on your mama owned a shop in Highland Park. You was like one of the elite in Highland Park. You was like you probably knew Wyndham. No, nah, she ain't own the. She ain't own the. She ain't start owning the shop till I was. She ain't buy a shop till I was a grown up. Hey, but she was doing here. You said the basement. Yeah, she was doing. No, nah, she was going, she worked at a shop in Highland Park. So when she was working at Highland Park, I used to just, you know, my thing was I was always in trouble on punishment. So she used to have to watch me at the shop. So you was like up there. Yeah, so I'd be up there. And how, why wouldn't you? You can't be a beautician with fucked up hair, kids. That just don't work. This happens. That's you know, it happens. That's negligence. I seen it. You ever see a badass stripper and her kids bummy as fuck? And this yeah. bitch got on. No, I seen She got Michael Kors purse and shit. And, and she's a stripper though. What that mean? Like they can't be people. They're not people because no, they get naked for money. They, they, they thought process. That's not it. okay. You, are you want to speak to think strippers are subhuman? Are you want to? No, I'm <laughs> like, I'm not you, you, I'm like subhuman. That's like hookers. They're people too. They just happen to sell their body. What's wrong no, with hookers? I'm not yeah, saying, you too. I'm not saying strippers and hookers are subhuman. I'm saying you treat it like. No, I say they they think of you a lot of times. Like people, they, they still don't be there. Like you see a stripper with bummy kids. That's a career stripper, not the I'm trying to put myself to school. The thirty five and up stripper that's got a son that's in high school and he's looking like embarrassed because his friends know. That's the nowadays strippers. Back then it was like rumor, but now people's moms got only fans page and shit. But remember back in the eighties, you. You had they didn't have commercials. They had commercials for you. Remember they had commercials for the, the male dancers back in the day. Unfortunately, but they didn't have one for the girl dancers. That's crazy. But that's what I'm saying. So it was like if your mom was a stripper, you wouldn't know no unless somebody had some. They didn't even have pictures back then. Right. So you didn't know. Because they know I had no camera phone. They didn't do it today, huh? They didn't do it today. They said, "Oh, you can't have." They left it for that guy yesterday. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't. Um, Barely. Do shit like I mean how they did it back then. They oh, were smooth with it. Your mom could work in the black orchid. And you wouldn't know. How, who would know? That's the thing people don't understand. The you know what I'm saying, though. right? Like they was up. Motherfucker, you see a, your mom see somebody dead or mom coming out of a sexual situation? Shut the fuck up. And that same up. shit. I remember one time me and my friend was going to an abandoned building, and one of his friends' mama was in there with some nigga doing God knows what, and we didn't spread the word. We didn't take a picture. We didn't pull our phone. You know what I'm saying? We just kept it going. That was her doing her business. Nowadays, she'd have been taped. It'd have been spreaded through the hood. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That shit was weird. 
Working you know, I just found out a lot of these, a lot of people mom was low key hoes. It's just the way they, when they, when they sell it. Just because she's selling that Mortal City don't mean she ain't the same as the chick who's selling on 12. Oh, yeah. You know, on Michigan Avenue, go to Michigan Avenue at 12 30. That shit turns to a movie. It turns to a movie. What's going on? You were at Nationals. I thought you'd be at Nationals with everybody else. Yeah, yeah Mook said they get down there, get a lab in Illinois, wherever they going. They went. Oh shit. Shit, but no, I'm trying to shit. I'm, no, but yeah. A lot of motherfuckers. Talk. Yeah, that's in a couple weeks too. Oh, that's next weekend, right? Yep. Alright, but no, um, shit. But no, I mean, like. You couldn't do that nowadays. What I'm saying was, like, strippers with bummy kids. Right. A lot of these shit be still in that thought process of, uh, me, 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 me. me. They don't be about the kids. They just like, I know. Hey, I get them. Whatever they but I just say some strippers or some dope mamas. Like oh, dope yeah. woman mamas that so dope low key and we had their kids fly. I had a friend named Omar. Omar had a gold chain in first grade. This motherfucker had, I mean, go, go. Like, you see this bitch from across the room. This nigga, his, him and his brother, his brother Joe, they, his mama stayed, they, they stayed fly. They mama kept them like stupid fly. You know what I'm saying? One kid named Meech. His mom's was like 28. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like this. Eighth grade, so I mean, she had yeah, him in eighth grade. So. <laughs> she had him young. Shit. But his mom was bad as fuck. Yeah. Like, she kept him fresh to death. Yeah. I mean, right. oh, that's what I have next time. time. <laughs> oh, but yeah. yeah. You know, oh, shit. Like, you be like, you got like, damn. Like, when I, when one of my kids was skipping school for Jordans, I remember those days. His mom was bringing his up to the school. See, mm-hmm. you got lunchtime Jordans coming to you. That's, that's, that's spoiled. That's that was that's that spoiled shit. I remember I used to hate niggas like the And I be wanting to look him up on know. Facebook to see if he's still alive or you know because you can't be that level spoiled, like, you know. They usually home. most most niggas I knew who was spoiled like like that are bums now. Like yeah, most of them I say. Yeah. Oh they still stay with their mom, yeah, they weird. It's like oh they they, they are successful, but it's like not real success. Like, I got a cousin like that who was like a spoiled, and bragging his mom to brag on him shit, but like, low key, she financing his lifestyle, so she's bragging on what she bought him. He's not like fly. He fly because, yeah, she bought him the, the life. She paid for, she paying his bills. So he got time. You know, that time you need to get your shit together. He got that. The don't got that time. You got to get it together tomorrow. You know, so. That's always said, like. I see cats like that. That's like who if they the super sporty. Their mama died. They lose it. They never learn responsibility. Yo, their mama still finance. They fifty. And their mama still raising their kids and shit. You like Man. stand in the basement with four kids and shit. And, 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 you know what I said? Said those chicks maybe crying on baby daddies and shit. Like the, the niggas that that's too poor or too broke to take care of. I mean, like wait a minute. So when you walk through this nigga's side door to go straight to the basement. Oh. That's the move too. I, everybody that went to a house like that. Hold on. That's the move too. You went to the basement. You don't see it upstairs. You just come down here to smoke. That's what. That's that's the whole. The company don't go upstairs. Move you the bathroom down there. and Everything. You, you, turn, can, you can smash on an air mattress. Looking at the pipes. This chick's getting fucked. It's, it's just getting pregnant on the floor. Yeah. The love of their life. What are you talking about? It's air mattress. I know mixing right. that living with kids on the floor. Or, or you fucking on the side of a bed. Oh, oh, that's the side of the bed because you can't get in the bed. Because it's a twin size bed. On the floor, <laughs> next to the bed because, oh shit, his oh, little cousins yeah. oh, got that bed for the day because they had to spend the night because uh, it ain't even his house. Oh, uh, so, it's, 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 that's a lifestyle. That's a lifestyle. But, Hold on. But you want to be. No, go ahead. <laughs> because this nigga came by you diaper. Oh, Bitch, did you not see? Did you. It's chicks that believe the pussy changes the guy's life. First off, I Speaking wish- of, this episode of Keeping It Real is sponsored by Eden Ain't Cheating. Uh, we're going to keep up with my Eden Ain't Cheating. It's a little non-profit. <laughs> and Ham Tramick, um, I fucks with. We do a little things. We're doing a book bag giveaway this Christmas. Um, Eden Ain't Cheating. You know what I'm saying? It's from the people who brought you fingering ain't dingering. I let you get read the between last on that. But yeah, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> the point, the simple point of the matter is, yeah. It's, it's bitches out here that fall in love of uh, all types of shit. So, what I, can we say? I just say the chicks be thinking like, like bitch, your pussy is not special. Someone believe that they got the dynamic um, pussy. I believe you should, you should be more than a pussy because all of them got a pussy. 
I'm like, I didn't have some pussy that made me not want to pull out. I mean, that's every other pussy. You know what I'm saying? Especially at certain times of night. Or if you haven't had the pussy in about a month or two, or yeah. Or you've been drunk. Or I haven't drank in a minute. I, I don't like fucking drunk. I think that's drunk. I think that's rape sex. I, I'm crazy. No, like I, if you're drunk.